In this video, we're going to show you how to install the brake caliper on your Ford Mustang located at the front wheels. Now, when removing the center cap, you want to be careful not to damage the wheel face itself. There is a notch right here you can go ahead and put a pry tool into. I want to use a plastic trim and a small pry bar. And the purpose of this here is to protect the surface, that painted surface of the wheel. Using your 19 millimeter socket, loosen and remove your lug nuts. With the lug nuts removed, remove the wheel and set it aside. On the top portion of your brake caliper, there's gonna be a bleeder screw right here. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter wrench. We wanna go ahead and loosen this. I'm gonna loosen that just a tiny bit and we should see brake fluid start to come out of, out of this port here. Now we have brake fluid starting to seep out. Let's go ahead and close this. And we're going to use this bleeder screw to go ahead and compress our caliper once we remove it from our unit. We're gonna remove our brake caliper from the bracket itself. There's gonna be two 12 millimeter bolts. There's one on the top here. You follow it down, there's one on the back side. You're gonna use our socket and ratchet and our pin here is sliding a little bit. So I'm just gonna hold that and remove that bolt and do the same for the bottom. We're gonna use a small pry bar. Go ahead and work that caliper up and set that on top. Now at this point, we can go ahead and flip this over. Now these dual pistons here we want to go ahead and compress these until they're pretty much flush with the caliper itself I'm going to install our tool here now we had opened up our bleeder screw to check it earlier and what you want to do is apply pressure to those pistons and when you open this up it should allow you to compress those pistons and push that fluid out so as you do this, just gently squeeze this and you'll see fluid come out of this here and continue to do that until those pistons are recessed all the way in. Now that we have our pistons pressed in all the way, go ahead and close this up. Snug that. You can go ahead and remove your tool. Now let's go ahead and support our caliper off to the side here. You can remove our pads. On the back side of our caliper bracket, you're gonna find two 15 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and use your socket and ratchet to go ahead and loosen and remove these. Hold on to that bracket when you remove that bolt. Remove the bolt and then remove the bracket. Now we want to prep our new caliper for installation. We need to use our 12 millimeter socket, remove our slider pin bolts. Separate the two. We want to grab our slider pins here. We want to twist those out with the boot. Now there is a minimal amount of grease here I'm gonna add just a tiny bit to the inside of the port. And we don't want globs of grease on here. We just wanna make sure that it is fully coated. Slide that back inside, work that, and then push the rubber boot on. We're gonna do the same on the other side. You can see this has less on it. Try and work that a little bit. Make sure that your seals are fully seated all the way around. You wanna flip this up. You wanna put a thin layer of grease right where the slider shims are going to go. Once again, not globs of grease, just a thin coating. Grab your shim, slide that in, pop it into place, make sure it's fully seated. 
when installing this unit here, you do not put grease on these here where the pads move back and forth. I'm gonna repeat this process for this side here. Slide it into place. Wipe down any residual grease that you may have gotten on the sliders. And at this point here, these two components are ready for installation. Let's line up our caliper bracket. And we put some blue Loctite on the threads of our bolts here. Let's go ahead and get the bolts started. Now that we have our bolts started, let's go ahead and snug them down. Torque down our caliper bracket bolts to 85 foot-pounds. Now before we install our brake pads, a critical step here. I'm gonna pop out one of the sliders here. The slider itself has a slight design on it where the retainer clip here goes on the outside. If you notice, the other side does not have one. So that gets placed on the outside. If you put it on the inside, this little spring clip will interfere with the rubber boot on the other side and it will drag. So you wanna make sure that the upper one also has the retainer clip on the outside as well. Now that you have that in position, take your brake pads, I'm gonna line those up and slide those into place. Now at this point here, we can slide our caliper over on the top and then we'll put our bolts in on the back side. Now before we remove this line, you wanna make sure that you have a catch can or a bucket underneath. You will lose some brake fluid from the line as well as the caliper itself. We're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna loosen and remove the bolt here. Now I remove this here. Go ahead and set that aside. Wipe down the block. I'm going to take our new bolt. I want to put on one of the copper washers. Feed it through. Put the second copper washer on the inside. Make sure that there isn't an old copper washer left on there. Go ahead and line this up. And thread that bolt in. Now that you have the bolt started, we're going to go ahead and snug that down. Using an 11 millimeter socket, go ahead and tighten down the bolt. Use some spray solvent. Spray that down and give it a quick wipe. Install the caliper. We put some blue Loctite on the bolts. Go ahead and install the lower bolt. Go ahead and snug these down gently. I'm gonna to torque down the caliper bracket bolts to 12.3 foot-pounds. Do the same for the bottom. Come on over to your bleeder screw, pop off the rubber cap. Use your 10 millimeter, open this up. And we're just gonna wait for the brake fluid to come down the brake line, fill up the piston area itself, and then start to come out through the bleeder screw. Now at this point, we can see brake fluid coming out, but we also see a couple bubbles coming out. I'm gonna give it a couple moments here. Once we see a steady stream of fluid coming out without any air bubbles, we'll go ahead and close this up. Go ahead and snug that. We're gonna go ahead and spray that with some solvent. And then just wipe down the residual, clean that up down underneath. Go ahead and install the rubber cap. At this point here, you wanna hop into the vehicle, pump up the brakes, make sure you get a good solid brake pedal feel. 
If the brake pedal feels soft or spongy, you want to go ahead and proceed to a brake bleeding process. Install your wheel. Go ahead and get your lug nut started. And once we have those started, we'll go ahead and snug those down. Once you have these snug, go ahead and lower the vehicle down and let's torque those into position. Let's go ahead and torque our lug nuts to 95 foot-pounds. Go ahead and install your center cap. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.